Hello everyone, Sakuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Now, uh, spoiler alert, I am not supposed to be doing this right now. It is currently 12, 11 a.m. where I am, and my wife is asleep, so she has no idea that I'm recording this right now, but I'm doing it because I need to get more videos out because, quite frankly, she is exhausted, and I am really tired of having her just worry and be afraid all the time of everything. I want to give her a sense of peace of mind so that she'll finally be able to leave her job in order to help support me here at home. But whether or not that will happen will be dependent upon us and this channel, and also the History Channel, of course. So if you could, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do everything you can to help this video in the algorithm. And I really hope you enjoy today's video because it's going to be an extra special Boomy one. Now, Boomy, what could I possibly mean? There are a lot of nations going into World War II that made a lot of big booms. Germany had a lot of guns that went boom. Papa Stalin had a lot of rockets. And, uh, yeah... Of course, big boom. And then the target of said big boom. No, but what I'm gonna show you today is gonna be an extra cheeky strat. Something that does not actually use any of the nations that is on this list because it doesn't actually have a focus tree. Ireland, land of the potato, and also lots of car bombs. They specialize in things that go boom, if you will. Now, Ireland is one of those powers that didn't exactly get involved in World War II. It was neutral. Yes, there were volunteers, but it simultaneously didn't do anything to directly involve itself in the war. And so I guess to that end, it wouldn't really make much sense for there to be a focus tree for Ireland, so it has the, uh, the, the generic generic one. Ah, the face of pain and utter genericness. But no, what I'm going to show you today is how Ireland, something that was insignificant in World War II, is capable of being the only thing that saves France from destruction. And this is how we're going to do it. First things first, we start out with the basic research. Go to our civilian factories, which we actually have a kind of decent amount right from the beginning. And let's go ahead and get a couple of these. Focus-wise, we have nothing. We can either do army, air, navy, industry or politics. It's, it's just separated like this with generic names for everything. So first things first, if we're going to get an industry going, we better start off immediately. And of course, who can forget the famous Irish military prowess of a single gun shared between 18 dudes down at the pub? We're going to need to do some modification here. Things for a while are going to be very slow for us in this playthrough here. It's a historical run, so everything is going to follow the exact same path. We are not actually going to get ourselves involved in anything until World War II breaks out. So everything here is about preparation. Because listen, if there's anything the Irish can do its plan a surprise for people that really don't want one. All right, industrial effort. We are going to go down construction effort now, and we are going to do everything down that path to get ourselves as many civvies as possible. And we are simultaneously going to train this unit. I should have been doing that from the beginning. It's not going to give us much army experience, but it will start out with at least a little bit that we can start accumulating. All right, there's the first research. Move on to next one. Get that going. We need this faster. Ah, uh, yes, the grand 70-day focus tree for one civilian factory. God damn it. All right, that finishes. We wait an extra day. Give ourselves to political power. Immediately go to down here, get partial mob. And the next step, construction effort two. Again, just trying to boost this as well as we can. Basic machine tools, now concentrated industry. We are only going to be getting concentrated industry because that is all that we are going to be doing, producing the same thing, and that's it for the same unit. We can't do anything different. All right, next Asian research. We're going to need artillery because somehow the Irish don't know how to blow things up, which that is the historical inaccuracy. I'm just saying. All right, we're going to spawn out as many of these units as we possibly can, get them from the beginning. We're going to have four divisions, and that is going to be it. Oh, should have caught this earlier. We are at 100 political power. Next step after this, we are going to need to get a chief of army because we need that ticking army experience. Best one in here is probably going to be defense because boy, are we going to need to defend. And as soon as we have 35 army experience, there it is. Officer Corps, classic move, spirit of the army, relief of command. Increase that army experience gain by 25%. It's going to make all of our units cheaper to get and we're going to get this army experience way faster. All right, armament effort. We can get another one, but first things first, get a research slot. All right, 100 more political power. That means it's time to improve worker conditions, get the stability, and everything up as high as we possibly can. And with all that done, we won't be able to exactly do anything else. So politics, I guess. Get ourselves some political power so that we can actually use it to do things like integrate the region and get more building slots because we barely have any as it is. Okay, now, unfortunately for us at this point, we are we are using all of our resources. So we have to start trading some of the stuff away. Unfortunately, the Irish have to support the British in this case. And every time we get 100 political power, the moment we can always integrate the region. The more we do, the more slots that we'll have in order to build things. And we are are in limited space as it is so the, the more the merrier and there we go we don't quite want to get this last one here for equipment three because uh we're going to want it for the next level of research for artillery and politics down the liberty side is just fucking useless it doesn't do anything so i guess navy build ourselves some i don't know it, it's it's basically pointless there we go it's 1939 things are about to start breaking out so we need to make sure that we get all of our support companies everything ready as quick as we possibly can we have the next level of infantry equipment we can go ahead and get that said we're gonna have to trade away yet another of our factories and with our dockyard we can start pumping out some convoys. Because again, we're gonna need a lot. Also, because we have basically no resources anyway, why not free trade? I should have done that probably earlier. Good, would have gotten more construction speed, would have gotten more everything. It's not like it matters. We're already maxed out. So yeah, secret Irish weapons, a potato and a tailpipe. All right, there was 
engineer company two we are getting logistics company two and field hospital two that should set us up pretty nicely over on this side simultaneously we are getting the 1941 level tech of artillery which means that as soon as that is done and we get equipment ever three that means that we are going to be able to get advanced artillery from 1942 in like 1940 that's going to be super nice all right and since it's may about to be june we need to go ahead and start changing things over here first things first for this plan we need to design a division first things first let's go to theorists we have the political power let's go ahead and get the military theorists to reduce the costs and let's go with the superior firepower doctrine we do not have the manpower and yes so that is the most precious possible thing bullets are cheap in comparison next we'll go ahead and spend the arm experience on tenacious defense because we are going to want our generals to get as much defensive skill as possible and even though it's expensive static warfare now in most game situations you are not going to get static warfare but there's a very specific reason why we are getting this we will go to our unit infantry division now nah, we're going to make a duplicate of you and i'm going to call you the spud cannon and this spud cannon is going to be the most dense unit possible and very expensive to build mind you but it's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to take these divisions and we are going to convert these to our spud cannon units they don't actually have enough manpower okay okay so we'll take four of them can we do that one no it's not but don't worry we will get that once war actually breaks out we will convert for now and train these up as much as we can in most situations you are not going to create a unit like this this is stupidly heavy and unnecessary like in most games people just straight up don't use field hospitals they seem like a waste of resources because if you have a lot of manpower anyway who gives a shit about people's lives <laughs> damn it that sounds so wrong but in this case as ireland we really 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 need this for obvious reasons and also yes i know this has very low organization right now but don't worry it'll get better literally the next thing after this on superior firepower is leg infantry plus 10 org so we get that and we get mobile defense and now we go ahead and get these boys trained up all right there's equipment ever three perfect we get that done and we have no manpower but it's okay it's fine it's fine oh and there goes world war ii that is broken out we're gonna wait for this to go past 30 days because we want this improved artillery to finish and warsaw has fallen poland is capitulating i just need there they go they're going towards the benelux soon as world tension spikes all right there's netherlands now they're attacking belgium can i join yet no because for whatever reasons democracies can't join in on anything unless world tension is at 80 percent lazy ass politicians waiting for the world to burn before doing a damn thing all right there's artillery upgrade too fantastic that is done we're gonna take this one that had 30 days on it we're gonna go to the next level here and oh look two-year reduction only 139 days and then we're gonna have 1942 artillery oh you don't say all right german interest in scandinavia there's the 80 that i'm looking for ask to join faction we get in on this and we are now in the war ireland is a part of this we're fixing history today well sort of you'll see what i mean first things first accept the call to arms we are now in the war and immediately we need to raise conscription extensive let's go and we're gonna take our four elite units and are we gonna throw them on the front line are we gonna protect france no no we're not we're gonna do something even more cheeky let's go ahead and steal some trains just so that we go ahead and have some or we'll take these four divisions and we're gonna plant them right here on breast we're gonna touch some breast oh thank you thank you for the convoys i appreciate all the convoys you want to send me thank you thank you buddies we're just gonna split these here place these two troops on the side and we're just gonna sit here and wait good luck france it's okay boys don't worry we're training we're gonna support you soon well no not exactly all right there we go fully trained go ahead and stop your training because we're gonna need to start building entrenchment quick oh right also i should have done this i completely forgot we need to get a field commander what does he have brilliant attack actually not bad wish he had higher defense but that is still really good we'll go ahead and promote him slap him on his field marshal and then we are going to give him actually wait do i even want to do that no hold on hold on let's try to roll re-roll the die nope another brilliant attacker man the irish love to attack all right last one and no no none of that worked we just we got a lot of basic generals we didn't get anyone with inflexible strategists it's fine it's fine if you get that that's probably good because then you can get unyielding defender in this case even if it's not actually good for it we're still going to get defensive doctrine well as soon as i have the actual command power for it we're gonna need to wait a little bit more oh and there goes france oh no all these units trapped inside france whatever will happen it's a good thing there's still some troops over here well now you get to see in action what exactly happens here first off doctrine we're going to go down here and disperse support overwhelming firepower just boost it up make the unit stronger because now the germans are just going to start throwing themselves at me and also now that we have manpower let's go ahead and get our spud cannon now i just want to show you this battle in the first place look at this look at this obviously they have not brought all their units to attack me from multiple sides but still 62 soft attack versus 316 58 defense versus 903 they're not touching us oh now look at this look at this canada and other forces are going to start sending things to block this up too we're just gonna hold the corner and sit here for the entire game all right just let them grind away our troops are going to gradually level up this is one of the other reasons why we want field hospitals because we take less damage when we lose troops so that we retain more experience 
Now all of our combat is gonna have plus 25% bonus and the odds are just gonna continue to get stacked up in our favor. All right, we got two more units of artillery. Let's go ahead and send them in. And there we go. Six divisions of spud cannons will now hold this point forever. Even with the German artillery trying to bomb it down, we still have over a thousand defense. They're not touching it. Oh, and what's this? We get another two years ahead on things like field hospitals so we can take even less losses? Oh, don't mind if I do. Plus we got that artillery now beginning in 1940. We're just gonna continue to pump out super powerful gear. And the great part about trying to hold Brest is that both of these provinces are forest, meaning the Germans are going to have even less attack trying to break in through it. Oh, what is this? It's April 1940. What are the losses like? We've lost a thousand men. We've simultaneously killed 330,000. Ireland alone has 26% war participation at this point. Oh, Germany, do you not like your little potato surprise in the tailpipe? All right, now the big thing we do have to watch here over time is that they will gradually start to wear down our org because it is rather low in the first place. But it's fine because we just keep on cycling these back and forth. Oh, well, what is it? How the fuck did you manage to get here? Germany, Germany, how the fuck did you manage to land on my goddamn island? What the fuck? You little cheeky dick. Oh no, 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 no. Don't, don't try to, really? Are you seriously trying to attack through? It's June of 1940. They've lost, oh wow, they've lost close to a million men. Huh? <laughs> this has been fun. And because there's nothing else for us to research and we only have the exact same unit, that means that we can just focus on being way ahead of time and everything and it doesn't matter. Oh, there's a 90 army experience. Now forward observers. Ooh, that is actually doing some serious damage down here. The Germans are really trying. They are just throwing themselves at me over and over again. Even here, they are gradually starting to wear me down. The organization is falling to almost half. There it is, finally. Next one, advanced fire bases. That is going to increase the organization for all of our infantry. So, spud cannons are finally at 42 orc. Perfect. That is actually respectable. And that's pretty much it. We just, we're just, we're just going to hold out here forever. Germans have lost one and a half million. I am responsible for a million of that, giving me 40% of total war participation. Holy shit, they have burned through like all of their equipment. This is just awful to watch. And now as more other factions join in, they just they just keep on throwing bodies onto the pile. There it is, 1941. We've maxed it out. Shock and awe. It's just a boomy fire slaughter. Oh shit, I forgot this entire time. I didn't even have any military high commanders. Not that we have anything in here. We really just get an army regrouping expert and then we don't, we don't actually have anything else. Hopefully one of these guys will be able to get the trait infantry expert soon. And you know what we need more men? Service by requirement. We're gonna need more resources here. And using all this army experience that we're racking up over here, we designed something new. Yeah, I think this name seems appropriate for the situation. Oh, infantry expert. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. They're just too fucking strong. We have veterans now. You go and you check these out. And look at this fucking stats. Look at this shit. 1,496. 75% bonus attack for experience. This is insane. We won't be broken. Oh, no. We got the second level of engineers. We have even more. Even more entrenchment. All right. It's June 1941. Uh, is Barbarossa occurring? Probably not because the Germans are missing two and a half million of their people. And the Irish are responsible for two million of it. I mean, you got to think about things in terms of trading numbers. We've lost... 15,000. We've killed 2 million. This is perhaps the highest ratio I've ever had. Even more weapons. The Irish. The Irish. The kings of development. Out of curiosity, I wonder what this would do. If we attack from both sides, will this work? Also, officer, corps, we no longer need relief of command. What we do need is this infantry specialist to go ahead and get that. And we're going to need some Irish car bombs. All right. Are we actually going to break through here? We have a very high attack. I don't know if this will actually work or not. Ooh, we kind of are breaking through that. Okay. Okay. Well, here, here, here. We're going to hold out. We're going to hold out. We're going to let them kind of attack us a little bit here first because baby we have advanced artillery next up on here what maybe advanced anti-air just keep the train going i say showing the united Kingdom. yeah yeah we'll fight japan the irish will obviously fight japan that makes total sense even as the end of 1941 comes to a close and uh the germans have lost three and a half million and uh the soviet war hasn't happened barbarossa can't be a thing because there's too many potatoes stuffed up the tailpipes of all the german trucks and panzers what the fuck you did it again you bitches. There isn't even a port here for you to invade from. What are you doing? You fucking idiots. You idiots. Well, you know, being in 1942 with over 4 million Germans dead and me being responsible for 75% of it, I think it's time we send in the Irish car bombs. So let's see if this works. I don't know if it will, but we will see exactly what happens. All right. All right. All right. All right. We need to hold back. We need to hold back and recharge. We don't want to expel all of our organization that quickly. Static warfare this time probably changed to smoke and fire for breakthrough. 
and relief command to overwhelming firepower. Now tenacious defense probably switch to bold attack. We have the army experience to spare. It doesn't matter at this point. Oh, 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 we are starting to actually break through. God, they are attacking us from all sides, all around. Come on, hold on out, hold on out, hold on out. Oh my God, I, I break forward by one province and they just will not let me go. Damn it, they drove us off at the cost of half a million lives. What do you think is going through his head right now? What do you think is going through his head? Just extremely angry thoughts about Irish people, I'm sure. Oh, and there goes Vichy France. Vichy France is now in, so they can join in the party here too. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Break through, break through. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. There you go. Seize more supply points. Seize more supply points. If we can just take it, that will significantly ease the burden for all of our troops that are over here. Let's see what happens. Can we break through? Can we break through? Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Trap more, trap more, trap more. If we can just get through here. Yes, there we go. There's like 12 divisions caught right there. Oh, baby, the counterattack starts 1942. There we go, there we go push on through we take the ports we seize their supply there won't be any stopping us holy shit we are just blitzing right through this there we go there we go there we go trap even more wipe them all out wipe them all out oh is this even more units trapped we just they can't stop us we're just blitzing through them like cheese did you you seriously i'm literally killing you why would you do this why 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 would you do this oh is that even more units trapped what i never would have expected that never okay come on come on come on big trap big trap big trap let's go let's go come on come on that's all of their units trapped here let's go oh my god that was such a big wipe how many one i don't even know how many men that was oh my god there's another big trap another big trap oh my lord just wipe them all out oh my god where did all these troops come from the soviets haven't even done anything over here it's entirely been us holy shit it's just constant fighting it's just constant i can't do anything because my allies won't build any troops i have taken the majority of them out if you could please kindly just build some goddamn men and send them in to hold the line i would greatly appreciate it oh you thought you'd take out my supply you thought that you would take out my supply uh uh uh, uh. no 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 that that is not how that works there we go there we go we took paris we took paris for their boys and that's even more wiped excellent we're just going to be able to move on through here at this pace i think there we go get surrounded we're in belgium boys we're in belgium dunkirk and calais wrapped up in a night little bow. I need to Mussolini deposed. All right. All right. That means, uh, oh, oh, well, here's where the British were the entire time. I was wondering what was going on and why the Irish had to do all their work for them. Honestly, at this point, this is just incredibly easy. It's a, it's, it's just a lot of micro and Italy goes into a civil war. Well, there we go. So that should finish things off here pretty nicely. Oh my God. They have so many units trapped here. Oh, this is such a feast. This is such a feast. The Irish will never starve again. All of Pearl Harbor, J America. What are you fucking doing? What is this? What is this? Really? Among everything that I'm doing here and now you have to do this crap? Oh, is this more caught? Is this even more caught? Oh, it's just so brutal. It's just so brutal. The AI doesn't even know what to do. It does. It has no idea how to explain this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just move in, move in, wipe them all out. Just clean up all the remaining trash. Yep. January 1944. Uh, France is basically free. Germany has lost almost 10 million people. We have 30% of all war contribution, mostly from damage. And uh, yeah, I think I think it's going pretty well. Oh, Oh, the wait, whoa, 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 wait. The Soviet Union declared war on France. On France? Why? Oh boy, oh boy, that's a big pocket. That's a nice big pocket. Oh, we are moving into Germany, baby. We are moving into Germany. We got this. Oh, wait, what? I just took Berlin. I literally just waltzed my way into Berlin because we've wiped out almost all of their unit. Let's go, 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 go. Keep it going, keep it going. Just wipe them off. How are you losing? I have wiped out like 90% of their soldiers. Soldiers. Why are you not able to do this, Britain? Oh, just try and clean up as quick as possible. The less death that we can allow the allies to have, the better, because to be honest, they, oh my God. How, how have you lost 10 million? How? United, when did you throw away 3 million lives? United States, when did the United States throw away 3 million lives? What the fuck are the allies doing? Is it because I held that land? Is it because I held everything in France? And now as a result of that, that caused them to burn through all their manpower, thinking, oh, we can definitely take that land you couldn't take that land oh no wait it's it it's genuinely probably all this that they have been throwing themselves at the entire time what the fuck 
The Irish are coming to Vienna. We got to end this war sooner rather than later. Come on, we are forcing our way through this Dukar. We're not even using lines. We're just drawing a point and going. Whoa, whoa, did they, did they capitulate? I didn't get a notification. Okay, well, interesting. Fall of Warsaw. Oh, God, because it's the Soviets. Because the Soviets are here on the other line. Please, would you finish this war first before anything else? And there we go. And check this out. We have so many points. In fact, you know what? I deserve, I deserve a vacation spot. I, yeah. Yes. I also deserve this. I deserve this. I deserve this. I deserve this. I think I deserve this too. And yeah, you know, that, that, that seems just right. The Irish got vacation spots all over Europe now. I see nothing wrong with this image at all. I mean, come on. We added another color to the Balkans. What more can you want? Another ethnic group for people to fight with. But everyone, this has been Stakuyi with a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Yes, technically speaking, we could go and fight the Soviets, but I just, I really wanted to show just how cheeky that was. And you can do it with basically any faction literally any fashion. If you wanted to go over here and play like Brazil and do it, you could. Very easy. Any kind of democratic faction that you wanted to play as in order to join the allies, it's a super easy way to screw over Germany and just make sure they can't do anything. We found a way to corner camp in Hearts of Iron. I'm fucking ashamed of myself. Anyway, once again, I ask that you please like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what it is that you'd like to see next. I'm pretty sure that after this, I'm going to have either the UK video or mod video. I know that tomorrow, now technically today because it's 3 a.m., I'm going to be recording a My Little pony video with my daughter so look forward to that and i hope you all have a good rest of your day thank you very much for your support over this past year or so i really appreciate all of you thank you everyone and goodbye